I'm Miss Debbie from the Morton Grove Public Library and you are at Folk and Fairy Tales. Everyone, you know what? Let's get started. Can you rub your hands together? We're warming up for that story. Here is my book. I open it wide and see all the pictures that are inside. Here is my book. I close it tight and dream of the stories while sleeping tonight. Our story today, Rapunzel. Rapunzel was um, written down by the Brothers Grimm in around 1812 or so they published his book. You can see my kids know I like fairy tales and so they bought me uh, different collections of fairy tales. Anyway, it's only about three pages long in this story. It has a history from way back. There were other versions, and the very first version the brothers put together a little bit more of adult um, content. And, you know, the original story is kind of scary, and of course we know that's the way a lot of the grim fairy tales were. The version that many of you may be familiar with was uh, the Disney movie, movie called Tangled. And here we have Rapunzel with her very long hair. She was in a tower, but instead of a prince coming to save her, we have Flynn Rider. Here's a picture of Flynn Rider. He was a criminal a thief. Hmm, that's a little... You know, really what I miss the most about not getting to see all the kids in the classroom is to be able to have this discussion about what's the same and what's different. So I hope you talk with what whoever your grown-up is around, your teacher or your parents or your big brother or sister about all these different versions of the fairy tales. So let's see, I'm gonna put this one over here and we're going to start reading our first book, which is a translation of the original Grimm fairy tale called Rapunzel. Once upon a time, there was a man and a woman who longed for a child. They were thrilled and excited when they discovered they were going to have a baby at last. The husband promised he would take good care of his wife and do anything she asked for. She only needed to rest. When she sat on her bed, the woman looked over a beautiful garden that was filled with the most beautiful Rapunzel plants she had ever seen. Every day the woman looked at the garden and every day she was overcome with a craving. Let's see if I can get her in the picture. There you go. With a craving. Let's see. Nope, wrong way. This way. Okay. She was overcome with a craving to eat some Rapunzel but she did not dare to ask her husband to get her some. Around the garden was a very 
evil witch who was feared by everybody. Because she was not able to taste the delicacy she longed for, the woman became sadder every day. She was so unhappy, her husband eventually decided to go and gather a few plants for his wife. At dusk, the man climbed over the wall with a long rope. Carefully, he walked to the Rapunzel patch and quickly pulled out a fistful of plants to take home. His wife ate one bite of Rapunzel after another until nothing was left. She loved it so much she wanted to eat more Rapunzel the next day. When he saw how happy it made his wife, the man decided he would go and fetch some more Rapunzel, whatever the cost. But the next night, when he was pulling out Rapunzel, he was frightened. Suddenly, the witch stood before him and shouted angrily, How dare you climb over my wall like a thief and steal my Rapunzel? The man replied that he only wanted to take care of his wife who was pregnant. When she heard this, the witch said he could take as much Rapunzel as he wanted in exchange for his child. Because he was terrified of the the man agreed. The child had barely been born when the witch came to fetch her leaving the man and the woman alone with their grief. The child was called Rapunzel and grew up to become a beautiful girl. She had a friendly face and long, delicate hair like gold thread. When Rapunzel was 12, the witch locked her up in a tower in the forest without a door or a flight of stairs. There was only one small window at the top of the tower. When the witch wanted to go up in the tower, she stood at the bottom and shouted, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The girl then let down her long flaxen hair and the witch climbed up. There's a picture of the witch and there's Rapunzel at the top of the tower. One day, a handsome prince was riding through the forest. When he passed by the tower, let's see, where's the prince? There he is. He heard the wonderful voice of Rapunzel singing. He immediately stopped to listen. The prince wanted to enter the tower, but there was no entrance to be found. After a long search, he rode off, but from that moment on, he returned every day to hear Rapunzel sing. One day he saw the witch and heard her shout, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Finally, he had discovered a way to get into the tower. The next night, the prince went to the tower and shouted, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Immediately the girl let down her braid and the prince climbed up. Rapunzel, uh, Rapunzel was frightened when she first saw the prince, but soon she grew fond of him. He was so happy not to be alone anymore. Every forward to his arrival, she thought he was not only very handsome and brave, but also very sweet. That is why she gladly agreed when he proposed marriage to her. They agreed he would bring her some silk threads every night, which Rapunzel would gradually weave into a ladder to escape. The witch was not aware of Rapunzel's nightly companion. One day the girl made the mistake of asking, why is it so difficult to pull you up and so easy to lift the prince? What? The winch called out. 
does a prince come to visit you in the tower? She was raging with anger. She grabbed Rapunzel's beautiful hair in one hand and a pair of scissors in the other. In an instant, the beautiful braid lay on the floor and the witch sent the poor girl into the wilds of the forest where no one would find her. Okay, here we have the prince. That same day, the witch attached the braid to the inside wall of the tower and waited for the prince to come. When he called, she threw down Rapunzel's hair. The prince climbed up and was frightened when he saw the witch. When she told him he had sent Rapunzel somewhere he would never find her, the prince was so sad he threw himself out the window. He survived the fall, but he was blinded by the thorns below. For a long time, the prince wandered the countryside alone. One day, while walking through the wilderness, he heard sweet singing and recognized the voice of Rapunzel. As fast as he could, he ran toward the sound of her voice. Rapunzel immediately recognized the prince. They fell into one another's uh, arms, crying tears of joy. Rapunzel's tears fell on the prince's eyes and miraculously, the tears healed his eyes and he could see again. They found their way home and were warmly welcomed by their families. Together, they lived happily ever after. There they are, heading back to the castle. In the Disney version, she had her hair cut. Her hair had magic powers to heal. But also, just like this version, her tears also had magic powers. So, again, one of the differences is that the original version had a prince. I'm not going to read this book, but I'm going to show it to you. Uh, this is how the library, not the prince, saved Rapunzel. Hmm. I'm going to read you just a little bit. Let's see. Now Rapunzel had changed. Oh, this, she, uh, she's up in her apartment and she won't come down. All her neighbors and the mailman and milkman, everybody's trying to get her to come down. And she finally gets a job at the library. So now Rapunzel has changed and makes her wince to think that she used to just wait for a prince, that she used to just sit, that she didn't move with nowhere to go and nothing to prove. And then once she's at the library, she learns to do all kinds of things. So don't just wait for your prince to show. He might turn up, but you never know. Pop down to your library and borrow a book. There's so much to find if you only look. And look, there's this Rapunzel has red hair and she's having quite an adventure reading all the books in the library. All right, here is another version. This is Falling for Rapunzel, written by Leah Wilcox. Uh, this is published by Putman's Sons. The first one I read was published by uh, Clovis, New York publisher. Falling for Rapunzel. So here, oh, we have a prince in this story. We have a girl in a tower with long blonde braids. Let's see what this book is like.
Falling for Rapunzel. One, a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. Far from up above, he heard her whine. Upset, her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea and sallied forth to set her free. Alas, she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your hair. She thought, he said, your underwear. No, Rapunzel, your curly locks. Rapunzel threw down dirty socks. Please, love, just your silky tresses. She thought he asked for silky dresses. In lace and frills up to his head, the prince's cheeks were blushing red. Rapunzel, do you have a rope? Rapunzel dropped a cantaloupe. It burst in pieces on his head. Oh, bad catch, Rapunzel said. Perhaps, he sighed, this is a test, and bound by love, he did not rest. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? She heaved out her blue ribbon swine. By now the prince was feeling hammered, not to mention less enamored. He growled up. Do you have a ladder? Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled, it's better cooked, you know. At this, the poor prince had a cry, then cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel! Let down your braid. Confused, Rapunzel pushed out her maid. The maid fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with the coincidence. She nimbly jumped up off his lap and soon revived the flattened chap. Then smiling said, for what it's worth, You'll really find I'm down to earth. His young heart thrilled. He gave a hoot. For what was more, the maid was cute. She set the prince upon his steed, then leapt behind with grateful speed, graceful speed. And leaning down so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met. He nodded. How could I forget? Rapunzel watched them ride from sight. Huh, I'm glad I finally heard him right. I hope they'll come back for more. They'll, uh, I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock on my back door. The end. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for coming to Folk and Fairy Tales. Mwah.